to be planning a, a farewell game for Chris Gale is a complete disgrace. Really? Disgrace? <laughs> What, what disgrace. Welcome, Sports Nation, to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views, and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial, and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment below. Welcome Welcome to Sports DTM. Greetings, Sports DTM fans, and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle, your channel of undiluted sports content. Today, I have with me Adrian and Raymond, and we're going to be talking about Christopher Gale and his farewell match. So the West Indies cricket has aggressively, or is planning a farewell game for Christopher Gale at Sabina Park sometime in January 2022. And if you recall, Gale in his post World Cup T20 um, interview, he said that if the West Indies Cricket Board could organize a, a, a last game, home game for him, for him to say thanks to his fans, he would, he would greatly appreciate it. The West Indies Cricket Board has answered that call. And I said that here, yeah, we're we'll going to plan a game at Sabina Park, a one-off T20 match against Ireland, so that Chris Gale can bid farewell to his fans and say thank you. It is not yet official that Chris Gale is part of the team, but some persons in cricket world is saying that this is a complete disgrace. And Fazir Mohamed, the renowned cricket commentator, has voiced his, his opinion on this. And he's saying the fact that you are going to select a West Indies team for an official international that is not picked on merit is something I consider as a complete disgrace. So picking Chris Gale for this farewell match, Raymond, according to Fazir, is a complete disgrace because Gale don't merit a, a place in the team. Yeah, uh, well, I think him, 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 he wasn't all in the punches. Um, I think he overstated this, definitely. Um, the type of opponent they would be facing. I know you want to give the younger players opportunity for confidence, but the truth is, against the Ireland, it's, it's only fitting. And, and in, in Jamaica, it makes sense to have Chris Gill get his last hurrah in a sense. So I, I think he's overstating this and possibly major in the minor. Adrian, he's saying that it doesn't matter whether the player is Chris Gale, Brian Lara, or Shiv Shandapal. They should not be selected just for farewell. West Indies cricket shouldn't be doing this. You agree? Really? Um, no, not at all. And as a matter of fact, I think Fazir is probably smarting from um, the T20 World Cup. And he's taking out his frustration and probably the wrong person. I mean... Chris Gale um, certainly isn't our worst um, batsman at this point in time. Granted that he didn't perform at the T20 World Cup and probably would not have been up to his usual best. Um, Father time is catching up on him. But I don't know how that can now translate to a disgrace. There aren't many um, um, other batsmen who are out there who are much better. So therefore, no, I think it's a little bit extreme. Um, a one-off T20, not so sure if um, that can now come down to being a disgrace for that by the West Indies T20, um, West Indies um, selected per se. And talking about disgrace, and if I am to share with you Chris Gale's um, record, right? Chris Gale's record over Test cricket, ODI and T20. The T20 is a little bit behind because of the World Cup records that weren't yet added. But 103 matches in this, Raymond, 301 ODI and 70 T20. 22 years of um, representation for the West Indies Cricket Board. We can't just allow a player like this to just quietly go off. Uh, never, never. Especially, you know, against that opponent, in Jamaica, Sabina Park, homegrown. I don't understand why this is even an argument or discussions, really. 
Um, this is this is absolutely what you expect. It's almost almost a business decision too, and it can be considered a business decision because you're expecting you know bumper crowd. Hopefully, if if restrictions you know allow it, or the government authorities allow it, but you this is this this makes a lot of sense. Um, so it's a no brainer in my opinion. The record speaks for itself too. Adrian, we see other cricketing nations um, doing farewell matches for their star players. And I can recall um, India doing a farewell test series for Sachin Tendulkar just to say thanks for his contribution to cricket in India. Why can't we do the same for our star players? We saw Shiv Shandapal bowing out quietly when his career came to an end. He was actually dropped from the team um, without even saying thank you for your contribution. And now Fazir is saying that Gail shouldn't be selected um, because he's, he hasn't merited a selection. Does, should that really matter when we're looking at a player who has done or contributed so much to cricket? So let us look at the the context of um, how it is, um, Kurt. I mean, it could matter if it is that you had another T20 um, World Cup that was coming up this year. It could also matter if you had um, many young players who were banging in the doors. Um, I would beg to say that this scale is probably um, rivaling even some of these young players. So there, isn't a lot, there aren't a lot of players who are beating on the door um, to say that would stop him. Nonetheless, um, the Cricket West Indies CEO, um, Johnny Grave, did indicate that um, in the past, probably there were players who um, could have actually benefited from such a farewell. And they're, they're, they feel like it's a good thing if Gail, who is an excellent servant of the, um, for the West Indies, and actually um, the World Cricket, um, wants a farewell match, a one-off T21 skill. I mean, look at the numbers. The test with the IT20, I don't think you can find many other players across these three formats with those type of um, averages and the amount of runs that are there. And the type of longevity. So a one-off T20 in his home ground, um, not it's not going to do um, any great harm to the West mm. Indies and the um, the the overall preparation of the team. I mean, this is T20 cricket, so he's the best T20 cricket um, cricketer ever. It's good marketing. Um, it's a good send-off, and um, I have no problem with it at this point in time. No T20 World Cup coming up either. So that's the added thing. If it was on the one-day side, probably. They would have had more of an argument in terms of preparing for the one day internationals. But the T20, a one off, hey, go ahead, give Gail its farewell. You have done really well. <laughs> Talking about the, the best T20 batsman of all time, he is the leading run scorer for ODI for the West Indies as well. And so, on top of that list for the West Indies. But Raymond Fazier is saying give the youths an opportunity um, to develop and to show their work. And if we're to use the recently concluded um, o, um, T20 series in, in Pakistan, the youths were given an opportunity. The youths were given a chance, more than one, to show their work. I'm not sure if they would merit a place over, the, over Chris Gale in this T20 team either. So, so on one hand, I, you can agree with him that he should give the youths a chance. Um, also, based on a concluded um, matchup, especially against Pakistan, you saw some improvement and some persons taking their chances. However, you're, see, you're seeing that they're still hopefully lacking in some department. And the truth is, give, against our opponent, like, I mean, I'm not saying Ireland is a terrible opponent, but it's not a Pakistan. Um, so, pretty much, in my humblest opinion, I almost feel as if Playing, it might improve their confidence, but this would do, not do a lot in terms of getting them ready, in my opinion. It, 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 given the opponent and everything, it, it doesn't it, do a lot. I'm sorry. If, if anything, it's more to give them, provide them an opportunity for the, um, the IPL or some of those tournaments. Because, I mean, what else is there out there? But it must be. But some of them actually get a footing based on what's going on in a Pakistan match. So the others are going to do a wait until Ireland to actually show their possible work against not so much of a strong opponent. Yeah, that's the same question I was going to ask Adrian. 
if they haven't shown their worth yet, what would come of this one-off T20 match? You're still not going to see them worth, will you? Yeah, you're still not going to see it. Um, not a lot of cricket have been played in the Caribbean um, to see them. Um, we saw them in the, the a couple of them in the one day international against Pakistan. There are a few of them who came to the party. Some of them did not. So therefore, you know who are the persons who are being included. So this one-off match is neither here or there. Um, yeah, not that we're downplaying the significance of the West Indies team and what is required, but a one-off match like this, a farewell match, hey, um, it's not that big of a deal to be come down to a disgrace. I mean, this is Chris Gale. So give him his one-off, give him his few hours, and he'll be off in the sunset, hopefully. It's not just a disgrace, it's a complete disgrace. But Raymond, 11 players on the team, Chris Gale getting one of the 11 spot just to say thanks to his fans. Thanks for your support. And the West Indies cricket is trying to, I suppose, make their wrong right and don't do like what they did with Shiv Shandapal and other players who retire in this. And we don't even know what they're there. They're saying they're going to organize this one-off T20 to say thanks to Chris Gale. I think it's the right decision for the cricket board to do. What do you think? Yeah, it, it's a good gesture. I mean, outside of this, it would have, it, it'd have to be yeah. organizing a testimonial, which probably take a little harder to put together. You know, so this is probably one of the better way to to actually get um, some recognition done for for Chris Gale as his you know good stewardship. Um, in some parts, and and a good servant to the West Indies. So this is the, the best way, and especially at Sabina Park, you couldn't ask for anything more. Adrian, another of Fazir's concern is that we might be setting the, the a bad precedence to be planning a farewell game for a player who should not be in the team based on merit. Yeah, the, the, the truth is that um, I don't know if it's a bad precedent. I mean, at the end of the day, there aren't many Chris Gales who are there around. Um, the idea is that these type of players are once in a generation, so you don't expect that to come um, very often. So it's hope that um, um, this won't, this not an everyday um, situation that will occur. So we look forward to it every once in a 10, 15, 20 years. Only for the and after. And after all, it's Chris Gale. It's not like he's a rocks player who just a start <laughs> selecting Chris Gale for this one-off T20 match for him to say thank you to you, his fans, for supporting him for these 22 years is a complete disgrace. And it sets the bad, a bad precedence going forward for the West Indies cricket. We would love to hear from you. What's your thoughts on Fazir's? positions or um, fans out there. We would love to hear from you by you leaving your comments in the comment section below. And always remember to like, to share, and to subscribe, and to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell all of them friends to come and join the Sports DTM family. From the Sports DTM family to yours, have a happy holidays. Be blessed.